Good morning, everyone. My sister, Anne Louise, and I would like to thank you very much for being here and supporting the first Gloria Pearl PCC Educational Symposium. When pancreatic cancer stole our mother five years ago, and that's what it felt like, I didn't know the first thing about the disease. Her diagnosis was heartbreaking, and her rapid demise left our family shell-shocked. We were reeling. The sudden loss was overwhelming, and we experienced a sense of powerlessness as we tried to figure out the options for her care. It was overwhelming. I chose to deal with losing uh, my mother by trying to educate myself about the disease. My need to know led me to this remarkable organization. As a member of the board, I recognized that there was an opportunity here to advance PCC's commitment to education. My mother was just the most positive person and she was all about positive outcomes. Whatever the hurdle, somehow she could figure out how to clear it. And it's ironic and obviously very sad that her diagnosis was probably the first challenge that she couldn't figure out how to overcome. As a social worker, an advocate, and a social activist, um, she truly believed that education was the key to progress. She was just, she was passionate about it. And in keeping with her values and her results-oriented activism, my sister and I have established this symposium. And it's really interesting, the work that we've done on this has helped us regain a sense of empowerment that pancreatic cancer would not have the last word. Uh, and I, I want to thank uh, Maury Todd, who uh, donated this beautiful space. And you're probably not going to have time today to visit the galleries or the shop, but I hope in the future you do come back. And Lori Ellies for her tireless effort. And lastly, my father, who had lent his incredible support for establishing this symposium. Um, he's not here today, but he's thinking about us. Uh, we have an exceptional lineup of speakers who are on the front line of treatment, research, and advocacy, including our moderator, an acclaimed television journalist, PCC's national spokesperson, and as of this summer, a five-year survivor, Libby Snymer. Libby. Libby. 